Hello everybody to part 8 of my UEFA Nations League jersey review. We are looking today at group C4 and of course the question is why the hell am I wearing an Australia jersey? Well, it was really hard to pick a jersey uh, for this one. Um, I wore Bulgaria for yesterday's video. Bulgaria is a neighbor to Romania. Didn't seem quite right. We have Serbia in there. Yes, the only thing I have in that region is again Bulgaria or Croatia. Doesn't seem right. Croatia especially. Doesn't seem right at all. We have Lithuania in there with Macedonia in there. Lithuania is yellow with green. Hmm. Yellow and green. Romania is yellow. Maybe no green. So there are two yellow teams. Let's choose a yellow jersey. Brazil? Nah. To Sweden? Hang up. No. Let's take the Australia one. It's because of the yellow and maybe there's something Lithuanian put in there. But Lithuania is not the first team that we're going to look at. The top seeded team in this group is surprisingly even not Serbia, who made it to the World Cup, but actually Romania. And they're also by Homa like Bulgaria and they got really interesting kids. Um, the first thing you note is that it's all in yellow and if they're playing all yellow, it actually looks a little bit boring. Just by itself, the kit, if this was paired maybe with some blue or red, it could look even more interesting. Um, the all yellow is a little bit boring, but I like the jersey in itself. I like this stripe of the Romanian flag going down the center. This is a really, really nice touch. Uh, there's also some uh, patterning in there, which is kind of uh, also playing off the, this, the Romanian coat of arms. Actually in there, a really nice touch. I wish that there's a little bit more color on the shirt color. There's just a little bit of a blue trim and the same thing goes for the sleeve cuffs. There could be a little bit more color there. And of course, everyone will notice that the Romanian uh, crest has been updated. And here's the detail. It's actually, if you look at look it up, the Romanian coal, coal coat of arms has all the five uh, regions of Romania in there. And they have it represented here as well. Um, it is a modernized version, but I actually really like it. This is a really nice touch. I find it weird how this stripe is actually incorporated into the shirt, like a separate panel. That makes for a little bit of a weird look. But I really like the idea of this shirt. Um, again, I would wish a little bit more color on there. If you watch it live, it's a tad boring to watch because it's, uh, uh, all these little details get a little bit lost in the yellow give the color a little bit more color. And I think we're talking about an absolutely gorgeous jersey. Uh, the away jersey is in red. And here I miss that they don't have the Romanian flag on there. It's just instead of the flag, we have yellow, uh, two yellow stripes running down, which I think is a missed opportunity. Uh, I understand that if you have the red, it kind of, you lose the color there. But you know, you can make this also on the yellow background. Take a really a yellow center stripe and make the same thing as on the home jersey. I think this would make me maybe for even more 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 of a splash. So therefore I like this one a little bit less, but I actually like this updated uh, Romanian crest. I think there's something nice. It's modern, but it's also um, tied to the country. I still wonder, maybe there's an eagle. It's an eagle. This is not the coat of arms. It's an eagle, which is probably part of the coat of arms, of course. Now, Serbia, we've already seen at the World Cup. Uh, they really had nice Umbro shirts and even the Nike shirts before, but now they, uh, with the, switch, the last minute switch to Puma, you get a very Swiss looking home jersey. I never liked this home jersey that much. Uh, you have the gold around the crest, but you don't do anything on the jersey. You don't put anything on there uh, that's in any way special. Uh, these are not bad but boring and I really don't like how you know the, the torso extends all the way up to the top part of the shoulder and cuts off the form stripe. Uh, I think this was just to show off this template at the World War Cup but it doesn't make for a really nice looking jersey and again it doesn't look very Serbian. I would not have put necessarily the white in there. I would have chosen a different color of red. This is a Switzerland jersey to me. Uh, not a Serbia jersey. The only thing that makes it a Serbia jersey is the Serbian crest, which is actually really, really, really nice. Gotta give it to them. Um, on the back, of course, a wonderful uh, number uh, 
font and yeah there's a Serbian flag so at least something Serbian on there. However I like the away jersey a lot better again the reds don't connect you have yes you use the red from the flag and you have this flag stripe here the only thing that's a little bit odd is that this is also the Russian flag a little bit so therefore put an eagle crest in the center and have the number to the left as you've done with Italy uh, two years ago then or put just the crest in the center and with the flag stripe I think this would make for a much better picture than just uh, having this kind of connotation with Russia and I also would think it may would make more sense if the fade is not on top on the bottom but towards where the number goes but of the two jerseys this is clearly the better one and now for the last two teams I don't have many uh, nice pictures we see here Montenegro has Legea jersey, uh, jerseys uh, very plain looking shirt collar uh, red jerseys for Montenegro at home. I like the short color with the two yellow buttons and then you have yellow sleeve cuffs. It looks actually nice uh, but I don't have a much better picture but from what I can tell those shirts are nice. I unfortunately don't have anything for the away jersey. And Lithuania has Hummel jerseys which are yellow with some green like the Australia jersey. You have uh, the Hummel chevrons on top you have some green numbering in there. The Lithuanian crest is kind of interesting in black. And then the underarms, I don't like the green and the white here. I think this should have been better incorporated a little bit on the jersey and don't hide it on the underarms. But yeah, I also only have the home jersey here. It looks actually all right from the front. I like the two-tone sleeves, but at least a little bit gets lost here on the sides. Uh, don't make put so much accents on the armpits, but many uh, nations do that, uh, many suppliers do that and I don't quite understand the trend. Again I'm looking for Mont better pictures of Montenegro and looking for the wages of both Montenegro and Lithuania. So therefore this video feels a little bit incomplete. Well let me know what you thought about the jerseys that I showed you here, um, whether you agree or disagree with me uh, on the Serbia jerseys maybe. I just find them boring. I found the previous ones from Umbro a lot, lot better. Gotta say that. Gotta, gotta say it as it is. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. And yeah, in November I will do a League D jersey review. Let's see how many jerseys I will be able to find. And I will come up with other jerseys from my collection back there. Uh, probably tomorrow or we'll see where it goes. I will talk to you soon. In any case. Bye.